Good morning to you all and welcome to our Act of Remembrance. On this Remembrance Sunday, which is so different from any we have experienced before. While we are unable to gather together, what is important is that we still remember. And whether we're in church, whether we're at the Cenotaph or at any war memorial, we are remembering the sacrifices made by so many all those years ago. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between nations that all people may live in freedom, justice and peace. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow all those who gave their lives, those whom we knew and those whom we knew of. We pray that we can be instruments of peace and that one day war will be no more. We will now remember the fallen of the parish of Great Snake. From Cowick, we remember W. Abdi, Arthur Durham, Fred Gardner, G. W. Horsfield, Frank Holmes, H. Hemingway, P. Spivey, C. A. Spivey, T. Spivey, G. R. Stevenson, J. W. Tasker, L. C. Turton, G. Wade, A. West, F. Peniston, Frank Colley, N. Clayton, James Gardner, R. Huby, S. Huby, S. Jackson, J. Stevenson, Michael O'Neill, and Alan Brackenbury. And from Hensel with Heck, we remember Thornton Simpson Bateman, Albert Bell, William Clark, Horace Hawksworth, George Heap, Tom Hutchinson, Joseph Ridley, William Settrington, John Stevenson, John Teal, Thomas Thornton, Patty Hyde, Arthur Cooper, Arthur Teal, Teal and Harold Thompson. And from Pollington, R. Addy, F. Barton, W. Brooks, J. Hendon, J. Horsfield, T. Lees, W. Lee, J. Rodway, J. Roundtree, J. Smith, J. Stevenson, A. Stone, N. Taylor. And we also remember all those who gave their lives flying in and out of RAF Snaith at Pollington. And from Snaith we remember William Axup, Edwin Christian, S. Clark, John Darley, R. Dean, Arthur Durham, Percy Durham, George H. Fish, Norman H. Fish, George Forth, J. Grimes, Charlie Hodgson, Frank Hodgson, Frank Holmes, S. H. Howard, A. Perrett, William Poskett, C. Rhodes, L. Rhodes, H. E. Rookledge, 
H. Short, F. Skilbeck, Joe Spillman, Herbert Turner, Tom Vaws, Ernest Wood, Mark Wood, Richard Wood, George Fish, and L. Clayton. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, or the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Almighty and eternal God, from whom, whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember today. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. As I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, may I speak in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. 
Amen. When it comes to this time of remembrance, I often think of my grandparents as they are my link uh, with the First and Second World War. One set of grandparents uh, were children during the First World War and both sets of grandparents uh, were in their 20s and 30s during the Second World War and my grandfather saw active service and my grandmothers remained on the home front front doing their bit. One of the things I particularly remember my grandfather talking about was the fact that when he went away to war, he wanted to come back to a place that was better. He wanted the fighting that he had been involved in and the world had been involved in to have a consequence to make things better. Of course, after the Second World War, that is what happened. There was the uh, formation of the welfare state and the formation of perhaps the greatest achievement of the 20th century, the National Health Service. All these things made so that those coming back from war had been there for a reason. The world was better. In a book that one of my lecturers at university wrote, he titled it The New Jerusalem. He talked about how after the war, everybody wanted to build the New Jerusalem, like is mentioned in the reading that I've just read from Revelation. And this is very important. In bad times, we want something good to come out of it. At this time of COVID, we are facing a different challenge as a nation. It's not the same as a war, but people are separated and sadly people are dying. As we look towards the end of this virus, perhaps we want to reflect on how once more we can build a new Jerusalem. The fact that we have the NHS is an absolutely amazing gift. But still, I'm sure we could find things that we could be improved in our world. As a Christian, I feel it is part of my Christian duty to find ways to help those in need. This COVID crisis has certainly shown us how splintered our nation is and how wide the gap is between rich and poor. And so as we rightly remember the fallen today, we also remember all those who have died this year from COVID. And we pray that as we come out the other side, hopefully soon, we will be able to build that new Jerusalem Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each remembered by and known to God, May God give peace. God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and sadness of our loss, may God give peace. God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. May God give peace. God give peace. For civilian women, children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hat hatreds of humanity. May God give peace. 
God, give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers, who seek to keep the world secure and free, may God give peace. God, give peace. For all who wear the burdens and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in the future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and for ever. Amen. And we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer, said in its traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes peace? Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? Will you work for a just future for all humanity? Merciful God, we offer to you the fear in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to stand for the National Anthem. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save our Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, Long to reign over us, God save the Queen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us, all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you this remembrance time and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>